So in this video, I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about this pen. It's called the Twisby Swipe. It's an entry level fountain pen from Twisby. It sells for about $30. And uh, as you know Twisby's products, you'll know they already have a really great fountain pen at the $30 price called the Twisby Eco. It's one of the best entry level fountain pens sold today and for and has been for a number of years now. There's also the Twisby Go, which is a $20 pen, kind of an entry level, even below the Eco. Uh, the Swipe comes in as a pen kit. So it has sort of the build quality and some of the, uh, I would say, the design features of the Twisby Go. But instead of just having a built-in spring-loading mechanism for filling it, you get in a kit that has different filling options. So this pen is actually a cartridge converter, which is not typically what's, what Twisby has done in the past. They're really known for getting entry-level fountain, fountain pens or relatively affordable fountain pens like the Eco and the 580. Uh, and building in high-end filling mechanisms that you wouldn't expect to see in those prices. Okay, so $30. Let's see what you get. So here's the Eco. It's sold in an opaque blue, sort of a navy or a, you know, kind of a gray blue, or this black smoke color. It has a clip-on or a snap-on cap like this, nice cap. It has the same nib as that Twisby Eco, so a, a smaller, I think a number five or number six, I forget, I forget the size, I think a number five nib, smaller nib, and uh, same feed we've seen before. The plastic is similar to that of the Go, so not quite, not quite as high-end as that of the Eco or 580, which uses a kind of a nicer, more of a, a resin-feeling plastic. Uh, this pen has more of the, the Go feel, if you know the Twisby line, and uh, it's still very nice. It's a nice uh, kind of heavy duty plastic. It will pick up some scratches. You can see here I've got, you know, just from throwing it in my bag or whatever, it's picked up a couple little uh, scratches or nicks, whatever. It's just kind of typical wear and tear you would see if you're not keeping it in a case. Clear uh, grip, and then uh, again, the same feed that we've seen before. Opening the pen up, we could see what sets this apart from the other Twisby pens out there. And this is a proprietary Twisby cartridge. It's quite large. I think it's over, I think it's around 1.5 milliliters. I haven't measured it exactly, but it's quite large for a cartridge. Uh, and this is, I've been using the cartridge now. When I first got in the pen, I was experimenting with the other filling options, which we see right here. So when you buy this kit, you get... Uh, well, first of all, you got a carrying case, which is this nice little case here, just plastic case, a little bit of Twisby branding on it. We get a spring style converter. And this one uh, is similar to the Go, where you push down and you do a couple repeated little pushes like this to fill it up. It's a lot like the uh, Pilot Con 70, but a lot larger. This is a, you could probably tell just from the width of these things, that they're pretty massive uh, converters. So even the cartridge itself is quite large, but most cartridges have more capacity than most converters. So with the cartridge, you get a, a big size, but it, it's not too much uh, of like an aberration. This is larger than normal, but it's not crazy. Whereas with these converters, you get a very large capacity for a converter. You also get this. This is a more typical twist style converter and you will just hold it and twist it down, fill it, and you're good to go. Again, big capacity. Uh, I like this twist one the best of all out of the, you know, I like, I like the, the cartridges are completely fine, but out of the two converters, I, I prefer this twist style. It's nice. has a little ball in there. You could probably make that out, a little plastic or glass ball, and that will uh, break up bubbles and prevent the uh, any sort of blockages in there. Uh, there's a little bit of an instruction. I mean, it's not really an instruction guide. The instructions are online if you need them. But it says when you're using the cartridge, you can put this included spring in here. This will add a little bit of security to the back so the cartridge won't pop out. And to do that, you would just put it in here and hold it in. I haven't found it to be necessary. In fact, I was a little surprised they included a spring at all. Most cartridges are in there really firmly. So, uh, you know, dropping a pen and knocking a cartridge out, it's not really something I've had a problem with in the past. 
but uh, you know, it's nice that they included this. You could use it or not use it. I haven't been using it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fill the swipe pen right now. I'm using this ink. This is just some uh, Sailor Studio 123 ink. And we'll see how it goes. Not a lot of ink in this sample. Let's see if we can get anything. Got just a little bit in there. Sometimes with these samples, they underfill them. And this was definitely the case there. Anyway, try that again. Got enough there to do a little bit of testing with his ink. And then we will follow this up with some more thoughts on the pen. Uh, but there you go. So here's the cartridge in there. Nice, firm seating there. You could see this piece is uh, all plastic threading, no metal. When you get one of these uh, Twisby pens, you get really nice use of plastics and resins, but uh, they don't do much in the way of metal. A nice, firm snap-on cap, and you get this rounded metal clip. It's really thin, and it's really tight. It's really on there. I haven't been very impressed with this cap, uh, this clip, rather. Does it work? Sure. And you can clip to a single piece of paper, which uh, I guess is useful sometimes. But but if a clip can work really well with a single piece of paper, to me it's too tight. So I see this as being a, a pretty flawed clip because I've had trouble using it, and uh, just it's for me it's too tight. But it does work. You get that little Twisby finial at the top. Again, with that Twisby logo, it's quite nice. And the bottom is just kind of plain, you know, just kind of cost-saving measure. The pen is a, uh, a pentagonal design, so it's basically five-sided with rounded edges. So maybe it's 10, depending on how you count, but I would call this pentagonal. And it tapers down into a true circle here, and it's circular here, and then you have... Uh, more of a, uh, it's basically a circular grip. I know sometimes you might expect this to go taper into a uh, triangular grip, the way you would see it on a Lamy Vista or something like that, but it's a circular grip. It has, uh, you know, there are some complexities to the design, as you can see. There's this nice ring here, and it almost looks like they're ridges, but it's not. It's just, uh, it's just round. There is some, like, this ridging here will hold ink after you fill it, which is a little bit annoying. I've gotten ink on my hands multiple times. Just was, Even though I thought this was fully clean, there's some ink in there. But uh, it's not really problematic at all. Overall, it's a really nicely designed pen. It's a like a nicer version of the Go. Not quite as nice as the Twisby Eco, which has a kind of a more ornate body and then obviously that built-in uh, piston filler, which uh, works really well. It's not really any better than these cartridge fillers, but built-in fillers are, are mainly considered to be higher-end mechanisms than uh, converters. So every Twisby fountain pen I've used, especially the ones at the kind of entry level, are very nice writers and offer a lot of bang for the buck when it comes to writing, and the, the Twisby uh, swipe is no different. So you can see this one is a nice, smooth writer. I bought it in the uh, medium nib, it's also sold in an extra fine, fine, broad, and a 1.1 millimeter stub. Uh, so this one is really quite smooth. I always want to call this thing the Twisby Go, but it is the swipe. Anyway, it's quite smooth, has a nice, generous ink flow, and no problem keeping up with you as you're writing. Just for uh, comparison's sake, I am using this test right now doing uh, using the Twisby cartridge and that uses Twisby's ink. Uh, prior to this, I was mainly using the uh, pump style converter with uh, kind of whatever ink I had lying around, some sailor ink, whatever. And uh, you know, it's fine to experiment with other inks, but it's hard to deliver a really uh, honest assessment of the pen itself when maybe you're using an ink that's not flowing so well, or maybe the formulation is not so great. It could reflect poorly on the pen, so I really have been focusing on using this with Twisby's ink. But I can say that the performance is quite good. This thing writes 
on par with the Twisby Go. Uh, and I find it to be more comfortable to hold. To the, the Go is sort of like a, uh, it's kind of wide. I don't know, I've only found, always found the pen to be a little bit ungainly. And I prefer the Eco to the Go. And I would say this one, uh, it writes, you know, both of them are great writers, because they all use the same nib and feed mechanism. Uh, my favorite remains the Eco. It has a sort of a nicer body, but the swipe is totally uh, a very solid writer, very dependable, and uh, no problems just getting sort of day to day notes taken. Uh, maybe it's a little on the wet side, so maybe size down. Uh, but again, I, I did get the medium, and it's been uh, it's been really nice. I've been really enjoying it. Uh, the writing again, I would just say it's comparable with the Go or the Eco. Uh, again, those nibs are essentially the same, so that's no surprise. But it's really nice to see that Twisby has been able to maintain that consistency uh, and that level of quality and dependable writing while changing around the mechanisms. You know, by using a consistent nib and consistent feed. Uh, maybe, you know, they kind of set the stage for really good performance, but, you know, kudos to them for being able to have a really, really nice rider at that $30 mark. And like, in fact, it's probably way less than that $30 mark because like, if you were to go buy converters from most manufacturers, you're spending at least five or six bucks per. So this is kind of a pen more in line with that uh, Twisby Go, which was always a good writer, but I never really liked the design and always felt a little cheap to me. Uh, I think that's been remedied with the swipe, which has a just a more refined and a nicer feel and a better shape for me. So I've been a pretty big fan of this pen. I think Twisby has done a really good job, and it's a killer deal at the $30 mark. I definitely have no problems recommending this. But unless you're particularly curious about the converters or you just love using cartridges, I would say strongly consider the Twisby Eco. Uh, it is like... Uh, for my money, it's a better pen, because I enjoy using it more. That's just my opinion. This thing obviously offers tremendous value for uh, being a, such a solid writer and giving this uh, really nice kit and giving you the option to use cartridges, which are more, uh, I would say, like more useful or maybe just more convenient for people. Like if you're uh, traveling or in an office or something, you don't want to mess around your fountain pen, you throw a cartridge in there. It's a really great option. So I can see this being a really big selling point for people that have wanted to go with a Twisby, but have needed a cartridge just for uh, practicality's sake. Thanks for watching.